Hello guys, this is Pandalorian. Today we are looking at the Summer 2021 Infinity Saga set, set number 76200, the Brothar's new Asgard. It has 265 pieces, two and a half minifigures including the Brothar, Korg, and a buildable meek. It is retailing for $29.99 US dollars or $29.99 Euro. It is my favorite Infinity Saga set released as of today. Let's take a closer look at the main build. This is the recreation of Thor's amazing new Asgard home from the Avengers Endgame movie. It is very messy, you have empty beer bottles everywhere, and also tons of pizza slices and boxes on the floor. One thing to notice about the pizza box, we have a sticker here which is pretty interesting. It says Storm Baker's Pizza and you can see a Storm Breaker here as a pizza slice. On the left, you have a sand green couch which looks great. I think it is a very neat design. You can easily fit all three minifigures on the couch to hang out there and play the LEGO Fortnite TV game. We have two gaming controllers in this set. These are lovely printed accessory and I'm so happy to get more of these. Above the couch we have a wimp and a frying pan for some reasons but I don't get that. Next to them you have a wine glass and bottle and I think these are some books and a statue figure in dark blue. And then you have also got a big wooden folk. Yeah, not really useful unless you're fighting off three vampires that were huddled together. Next to it you have a family picture. It looks really nice. It is a sticker piece and you can see Thor, Korg, Meek and Valkyrie in the picture. You can see some more accessories at the right hand side including a chest with some random stuff, a wooden keg with two transparent yellow studs inside to represent the beer, I love this little detail here, the keg could have been empty, I didn't expect that, and then you have got a fireplace which again it is a neat build, and you have some more decorations on top of the fireplace, we have a storm breaker clipped onto the wall, Apparently it is Thor's beer bottle opener. Tequila, all sorts of things. <laughs> On the floor, you have a beer can, the pull tab is printed, and also you have a newspaper with a cool sticker says, New Asgard Times, five years after the blip. I really love the details in this set and absolutely this is a cool endgame reference. Finally, you have a TV and a gaming console here, I think it is a PlayStation 4. On the screen, it is a sticker of LEGO Fortnite. You can see a message from Noobem, and of course it is referencing to Noob Master 69. He is calling Cord the dickhead. And of course it is LEGO so the message here was censored. I think he needs to log off this game immediately. I'm gonna fly over to your house, come down to that basement you're hiding in, rip off your arms and shove them up your butt! Overall, I think this build captured the movie scene very well. Let's compare this lovely build with some actual movie scenes. To mention, we have got a side build, a little sign which is a sticker piece, and it says welcome to the new Asgard. It is a small but effective build. Let's move on and take a look at the minifigures. Here is the bro Thor, I love this minifigure, he just looks like melted ice cream. He comes with a brand new torso and leg printing, and you can see his big belly go onto the hip. The head and hair pieces are reusing the same piece from other Infinity Saga sets we have seen earlier. He is wearing grey gloves which looks exactly the same as in the movie. I rate this minifigure 5 out of 5. We could improve this minifigure by giving him another beer, perhaps a magical one. And next here is Korg, look at this fantastic minifigure, he has dual molded arms, oh my friggin god I can't believe this is a marble minifigure. All printings are new and exclusive to this minifigure except the leg which is plain. His Hawaiian shirt is very detailed and he has a double sided face with an open smile at the back. He comes with a headphone accessory as well. I rate this minifigure 5 out of 5. It can't be better. Finally here is Meek, the hell piece is new, and he is built by two purple flower pieces on top of each other. 
He looks cute, but I feel sad for him because he looks like a weak Pokemon that no one cares. I think we could make him look stronger and what if we put him onto the Phantas body like this? Anyways I rate this for out of 5. For my final verdict, I think many figures in this set are fantastic, I rate 5 out of 5. The main build looks perfect as a collector display. As a toy for 7 years old kids, this set included a lots of items and accessories for you to play with, you can customize the house. And absolutely you can role play, you can ask Spider-Man to fix the damn door for you. You can throw Meek into the fireplace. You can Hulk smash. You can do a lot of stuff with this build. I really love this house so I rate 5 out of 5 for the build. In my opinion, this is the best $30 marble set ever made, so no doubt I will rate 5 out of 5 for the value. Just go get it before it's sold out. I hope LEGO could do something similar for Wanda and Vision in the future. I hope you enjoy this video. Please remember to subscribe my channel and follow my Facebook and Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.